Thursday at 7 o'clock versus Oral Roberts. For Wayne Zone, Addison Egan will sing the national anthem. Great ticket prices available. Coverage you can count on continues with Heather Heron and Brett Thomas. Welcome back. Just a few hours ago, President Donald Trump delivered his first ever State of the Union address. It, he said that the State of the Union is strong because the people are strong. He also made a lot of other promises. And joining us now in studio, we have IPFW political science professor Mike Wolf. So welcome. Thanks for coming Thanks. in to talk to us. Let's talk about some of the high points of the speech. What are some of the things that stuck out to you? Well, I really think, you know, really soon we have this budget deal that has to get completed and uh, the dreamers are tied up with that. And I think he put a really hard position, especially symbolically with the Americans are dreamers too, and kind of coming into the whole discussion talking about uh, MS-15 and the, this kind of other stuff. So I think he staked out a pretty hard position in the short term, which is coming up quickly on this budget deal and how to deal with the DACA stuff. What do you think it means specifically for people in Fort Wayne or even in Indiana? I think it's a huge thing, especially the infrastructure, everything he listed, roads, rail, Ports. We got a huge port on Lake Michigan. Uh, we got the Ohio River. Uh, it's a huge for Indiana, and so I think that uh, that comp component of the speech is is the really a big part of his agenda and something that really will be big this year. And I think also we got a huge Senate election. We saw Senator Donnelly. We were just talking about uh, one of the only Democrats that, that clapped at all. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, you know it demonstrates just uh, how big Indiana will be this year politically. It almost seemed like he was trying to reset the whole clock here to go back to a time where he might be able to get some bipartisanship there. Do you think he was successful with that? Yeah, you know, he talked about job training. He talked about paid maternal leave. Uh, those aren't real big Republican issues. Uh, so, you know, there might be some room, especially on the infrastructure thing. But other elements of the speech, obviously, you know, in this uh, polarized era, uh, came off, you know, we saw half the room standing, half the room not standing, occurred with a couple of boos here and there. So, uh, you know, the, he's got a long way to go. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we all do uh, politically. So it, it'll take some hammering some things out. Right, quickly, how do you think this stacked up against other presidents first addresses? Yeah, I mean, he's a different president, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so he, he's not really specific on policy very much that you would have had with Bill Clinton or Barack Obama. Uh, so, but he, he laid out a big picture. It was a pretty long speech because he, he really hammered on his overall vision, I think, and stuck to the guy we've known since 2015. Well, thank you so much. Like always, coming in to talk sure. and give us a little bit of sense of what's going on politically here. So, Mike Wolf with IPFW, thank you so much. Thanks, great. Okay, and Nicholas has a look at the warmer weather that's headed our way when we come back.